Take a look uh, uh, at some of those exit polls coming out from Channel 11. Uh, this is the head-to-head, -head, the main parties. Uh, Likud 30, Yesha T 22. So uh, Yesha T, a little, that, that exit poll shows it a, a little lower uh, than uh, it had. Uh, 30 is what was expected for the Likud. Uh, so, so far, I would say Yesha T is the party that has, uh, ha that has less. Uh, and so that is not a great sign. Uh, okay, so uh, I, there are some uh, polls coming in, suggestions uh, that Benjamin Netanyahu, the bloc that is supporting Benjamin Netanyahu, will have a majority of uh, that, that the That is not seats. as good as expected. That could be a good sign for the parties of the That's Zionist left, but right? we have to wait and see. Okay, but I am seeing a uh, results from an uh, exit poll uh, from uh, uh, what... From the from Channel 11, that the bloc supporting Benjamin Netanyahu will have 62 seats as a and 54 for uh, Yair Lapid. Those results basically mean uh, uh, those exit poll results, if they correspond to actual results, mean that Benjamin Netanyahu will be returning to power. He will have a six a minimum uh, 62 seat uh, mark uh, majority in the Knesset. And Daya, it looks like voter turnout, that was the key. The high Jewish, uh, the high general uh, voter turnout, which of course means uh, largely the, the, okay, we're going to just show, break it down a little bit. Uh, we see that the Netanyahu bloc, 62 seats, this is according to Channel 11, Khan Broadcasting, the Lapid bloc, uh, four, and Hadash Tal, that is uh, one of the Arab parties, has four seats. Uh, and if those results go, hold, if, those, if, if they are accurate, victory tonight, a comeback, political comeback for Benjamin Netanyahu. Can I just say, if Hadash Tal's got four, yeah. that means, according to any logic, they're still borderline. In other words, no. they are not guaranteed representation in the next Knesset. They're too close to That's the cutoff right. margin. Absolutely. Right. I stress but, but, again, yeah. these are exit polls. Uh, they are not actual results. And, of course, uh, they could turn out differently. Uh, but uh, Dahlia trends. Favoring Benjamin Netanyahu. I mean, that's what I was starting to say before, is that the trends ahead of the elections showed a slow, very tiny, you had to look very closely to see it, but it was a rise for Netanyahu's block. He had started out this campaign with an average of 59 seats, and by the end, he was just over 60. So, that, and th those were the trends in the public polls, the last of which were published on Friday. If the trend continues, then this general outcome makes sense. Having said that, Given that we've talked about the caution for a party that is hovering at four seats, I would still say that uh, the margin of two seats over, well, one seat over a majority, I think is still too close to call. Okay, I, I do want to say now, all three of the TV networks are showing that Benjamin Netanyahu, the bloc, gets uh, 61 seats or 62. Uh, Channel 12, Israel's Channel 12, 61 seats for the Netanyahu bloc. Uh, Channel 13, 62 seats for the Netanyahu bloc. Uh, Khan, Channel 11, the if Israel's uh, sort of a government chase channel. Public six, broadcasting. Public broadcasting, 62 seats. Uh, uh, we'll go there in a minute, but I imagine they're selling Celebrating right now in Likud headquarters. Uh, and Mark, I guess this is the campaign Netanyahu set out to run just to get that margin, to get that margin. And if those are accurate, his campaign succeeded. And I would suggest that if the exit polls give him 62, he can still go up because the, the, the army votes tend to, ha to, to, to favor the right. Mm -hmm. Though we don't know what's going to happen with Benny Gantz this time. We have to wait right. and see. But I would think that he, he has a good chance of forming the next government. Once again, Hadash Tal, those four, if they disappear, right, that's to Netanyahu's advantage. Obviously, some of them will go to the left, but some of them will go to the right, too. That's true. That's and, true. And, 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 and that would give him a, deci a decisive majority Absolutely. Uh, in the Knesset. Uh, However, we, we did hear about you know, a late well, what stage. What has Benny Gantz got according yeah, to this? 13. 13. 13, 13 so, which is a, which, a little bit higher. That's, or pretty much. That was exactly his uh, About what he, some of the polls had him down at 11. But, but okay, no, uh, we see religious. So, by, by the way, I'll notice the religious Zionism 15? list 16. at 15. At, uh, well, right. 15 uh, okay. there in Channel 11. Uh, and uh, religious Zionism, the third biggest party in Israel, right. they which are now... Which was predicted by up. all the polls. They and, and, they, so. and they could go up. All of these could go up or down by at least one yeah. seat. I think that it's worth pointing out, though, that the danger that Hadash would fall beneath the threshold is real. However, we are hearing 
from the field about a rise in Arab turnout towards the end. So if that is true, if that, that holds, be, then they could either stay or go. We haven't to seen Ram out. yet. I want to see no, we uh, what's going on. Well, we're going to show you the. We're going to show you. Well, we'll show you. But it needs. Right. I mean, unless. Right. No, but it. But it's not big enough. We don't see the numbers. We don't see the numbers. It looks like one of those small parties maybe did not cross the threshold there. If these are if these are accurate, and that would be the chance. But this is a victory for Netanyahu for sure for the right wing and. If these are accurate, we have to start asking how this was achieved. Why did the Israeli electorate shift just enough for Netanyahu to uh, make this uh, We don't victory. really know if anybody shifted. What we know is that he ran a very aggressive get-out-the-vote campaign. And in the places where Mark pointed out that there had been lower turnout, we can add Batyam to that list. I think that you didn't mention it for before. Sure. There were many places where there was just a few percentage points lower. And a few percentage points makes all the difference when the box are so closely tied. So we don't know for sure if people crossed over from the center to the right. What we do know is also, yeah, we don't think they did. But we do also know that, that Yamina, the outgoing party that held the premiership for the last year, which seems like completely off everybody's radar at this point, they were polling under the threshold. We don't, I haven't seen any indication that they've crossed the threshold in this. Right. And they weren't expected to. And those are seven seats. Well, I'm looking at that. We're looking now at Likud. Likud, 30 seats is basically, the, the, those, seats, those votes did not go to Likud. It would look right. like mainly to the, the religious Zionism, Zionism party. The uh, breakup of Naftali Bennett's uh, uh, party basically benefited Betzalus Small Church and Itamar ben -Vir. There's a neighborhood outside Tel Aviv called Givat Shmuel, which is known for having a lot of religious Zionists, a lot of modern Orthodox types. In the last elections in Givat Shmuel, uh, uh, Naftali Bennett's Yamina party got 24% of the vote. That means, and they were the single largest party. It appears, according to these polls, that a lot of those voters have gone back to their natural home, which is uh, Likud or to the right of the Likud. And uh, I think that's what we've seen. We've seen a mid-course correction, so to speak. But why do you think they've gone to Likud and not to religious Zionism? Because Likud no, got exactly... Actually, there, there has been, there has been, there has been a time. thought. There has been, it has been speculated that because uh, some of those voters sort of felt betrayed by Naftali Bennett going into a government that included Yeshatid, which included the support of the uh, Arab Ram party, that they wanted to make sure that there would be no, in their view, sort of betrayal of their votes this time. So they did not go to the Likud out of concern that Benjamin Netanyahu may try, as you su as was suggested here, align himself with Benny Gantz, but they went with the religious Zionism list uh, to ensure that there would be, in no configuration, would any of those votes be used to, uh, no, it's, to help it's a... It's quite possible Bennett voters tend to be the, the more moderate Orthodox, and as a result, they're not totally comfortable with Smotrich and Ben-Gvir. That's why I think they probably spread between Likud and uh, the unity party of Benny Gantz, uh, the national unity party. But once again, it looks like they overwhelmingly have gone to the Likud. Right. Now, I'd also like to know which other parties are right. on we'll, four. We'll, we'll break it down, but we're looking. Yeah. That's crucial. Why well, overwhelmingly to the Likud? The Likud didn't rise at all from the 2021 20, So it's true. Vote. Maybe they just got their natural they votes got exactly in the base. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Likud, yeah. The, 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 according to all the, po the polls that we've seen on the, on the voters, Likud did not go up. But there we're going again. Channel 13, 62 seats. Uh, again, uh, that's a two seats above the final projection polls. Uh, Dahlia, you're a pollster. Where, what happened there? Was it, in fact, the, the low Arab voter turnout, even though many anticipated that could be the case here? I, I really think it's too soon to know. Again, I would, I, it, the way I'm looking at these polls is that anything within one seat, uh, a one seat majority, so 61 or 62, I still think it's too close to know if that's exactly what we will see at the end. If it had been 63 or 64 seats, that is what I would call a blowout. <clears throat> In the Israeli context, that would count as a more significant victory. It's too early to know, as far as we know, Arab turnout went up from last time, right? Arab right. turnout last time was 44.5%. It seems to have gone up significantly, four or five points. So. Somehow or other, at the last minute, they were able, the activists and community leaders and the politicians made a big effort to rally to get them to go out to vote. I'm not but sure if that's... But we don't know yet how many of those votes were wasted on, let's say, Ballad, Ballad. which appears has not. I mean, it's... Right, okay, so I'm looking at the two voters, the two, the, the two parties that did not pass were, uh, according to uh, Channel 11's poll, were Ballad and Abayat UD. The other smaller parties uh, did pass the threshold, but at the at the minimum, there was a drop-off, for example, in Yisro Beitano, according to the uh, Channel 11 poll, down to Five seats so down to five. I, I would say this is actually sounding like a great day for pollsters because this is very consistent, for the most part, with exactly what we saw, A, in the individual polls, and B, in the trends.
Right. Uh, there you in Channel 12, as you say, it's the it's 61. Really, just one seat difference than what the polling was was predicted. Uh, and again, it looks like those parties, those smaller parties we've been discussing, all of them did manage to pass the threshold. But there was just enough drift off from some of them, maybe from Yisrael right. Beitano, it could have been, uh, right. uh, uh, to help uh, uh, the Netanyahu bloc get to that uh, 61. That's true. And I will remind people that there were plenty of there were uh, plenty there were a number of surveys that did show the Netanyahu bloc getting 61. The, the average was 60 because there were more showing him getting 60. But there were, it certainly wasn't, it, this, is, this is not at all a mistake of polling if it says 61, if that's what they, what they reach, because there were plenty of surveys showing I'm reading, that I'm reading on the Jerusalem well. Post uh, uh, website here, uh, the 12, Channel 12 and Channel 13 polls uh, uh, have, um, have Lieberman getting four seats. Now, right. Lieberman is down to four seats. That's a small revolution because he was that always in the polling right. doing better. Is it possible that we're seeing a generation? Okay, well, let's take, a look, let's take a look at that because there you see he did go down to five seats. Uh, you could see Shas, that, interesting, the Shas party now at 10, it's the United Torah Judaism, so the religious, definitely what we call the ultra Orthodox community, yeah. which traditionally Seven does billion. come out, vote high, but it's especially high uh -huh. uh, in, uh, in in this election. And we see all of the components of the present government. Where is Labour there? It's, it's there, five. Exactly. No, it is, exactly it is, where it is it there. Polling. Labor. Exactly where it was polling. Yes. Oh, five. 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 And, yes. and Merits is on four. four. Exactly yes, they all. So they're in a dangerous place. They're yeah, all they're in a exactly dangerous place. Where, where is Ram? Five. Also, yes, the Ron party. All the, all the parties Which in the current his polls were sure. all the parties in the in the in the current coalition that did compete in this election did pass the threshold, but dropped off. There's just enough of a drop off there yeah. that it gave the advantage to the pro Netanyahu pro Netanyahu a block. A lot of questions are going to be asked. Again, you look what at some. Is, of the, can I say what is interesting sure. for me is sure. I would have thought that uh, Ben Gvir and Smotrich would have taken votes from the ultra orthodox. It and does their not numbers have not gone down. That, has gone that's up a to very, 10. That's a very good and, point. Uh, and United Torah Judaism is uh, stayed where it was. Everyone was predicting that Ben Gvir specifically would take votes away from them. You recall a few weeks ago the chief Sephardi rabbi uh, made a statement condemning Ben Gvir. He was obviously worried about people from his from the Shas camp moving, and uh, uh, and this has shown. Uh, it no, there was talk. He I, didn't know how to read the polls. I, there, there was talk. There was talk that Imam, though the Itamar Ben Gvir and his no. approach was also drawing votes from Israel's south, the Jewish communities in Israel's south, where there's a lot of concern over the crime there. Some, a lot of it's uh, south stemming and south Tel Aviv. It's south from the Israeli Bedouin community, South Tel Aviv, where there. So this uh, poll has Lieberman on four. Yes. And merits up to five. Now that's very. There are two polls that have Lieberman on four, which is very interesting. Yes. It is because also Lieberman, uh, at least I. When I was talking to one of the legislators from Lieberman's party had said to me at one point, you know, it, traditionally Israel Bitenu gets two seats more than the polls predict. It happens every time. And I thought, I want to check if it happens every time. Apparently not this time, if these polls are correct. Well, a lot of speculation is going to be if, if some of Israel Bitenu's voters uh, punished uh, the party for joining a government that did have the support of a, an Arab party, of the Islamist Ram party. Uh, uh, yeah, that's one interpretation. The other interpretation is that we've had a very violent last few weeks on the also security Also a factor, front, security and last factor. Few months. And I think that the moment, every time there's escalations, we've had some specific attacks over the last couple of days. Every time there is a security escalation, the Israeli public in general votes to the right, moves to the right, expresses its right wing uh, political behavior in response. And in general, already we see a heavily weighted party system in favor of ideological right wing parties. I count Lieberman in that. When you have security escalation, that becomes more manifest.